Hey y'all, so welcome to the channel, Teresa Renee. So today we're gonna be doing another Get Ready With Me and we're featuring this Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. What is this? Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. So it's Sunday. I'm just gonna do a chat, Get Ready With Me. It is Sunday. I purposely allowed myself to sleep till 11 o'clock. Y'all know what I did this weekend. I turned my alarm off. Yeah, I have about five alarms set really and they start off at six o'clock in the morning. And I do them on the weekends too. But this weekend, you know, I just like, I don't get enough sleep. So what I decided to do is to, I purposely decided to turn my alarm off all of them yesterday I slept probably until about 10 today I slept until about 11 11 30 and the thing is yeah my internal clock goes off I wake up but I went back to sleep honey and I was like no I'm gonna sleep this time oh let me show you all these colors though real quick this is new of course take a look um, is it like the Too Faced, sorry about that glare, aren't they beautiful though y'all? Like for real, for real. Y'all know I have the Too Faced, what is it, um, the Chocolate Gold Palette. Let me put that back there. This is what the Chocolate Gold Palette looks like. And yes, she is fabulous and yes, y'all can tell I've been wearing this palette out. So this is a gingerbread palette. So it's not the same, it is different. Um, I just wanted to show y'all that, but this gingerbread palette, I wasn't gonna get it. And Beauty by Mika sent me a, um, when she sent me a text message, I think, and she was like, girl, the gingerbread, Too Faced gingerbread palette is out today. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah, the gingerbread palette. She said, I just ordered mine. It was on the Too Faced website at the time, so you know your girl had to follow suit. So I'm going to get my nails and my feet done today. That's all I have planned for today. So I don't know if I really, I, I'm not gonna do anything dramatic. Y'all know I never do. But um, I'm trying to debate which color. I think I'm going to use this, I don't know maybe this color here this orange what is it called y'all know i can't see it's called warm and toasty then again i want to bake it till you make it i think i'm gonna try both of those colors i'm going to try probably these three colors here this is going to be the crease these two are the lids somehow or another so let's see what color what look i can come up with with that that's a tongue twister. What look I could come up with that? Use this painterly by Mac. Something real simple. Where's my brush? Yeah, something real simple. Just to give the um, what you call it, something to stick onto. And it's really like a pale color, so it shouldn't alter the. Uh, look at the shadow that much but this is how I typically would wear um wear anyway I was gonna y'all know what I but back to me sleeping I slept so good today girl let me tell you mm, the best sleep I've had in so long but I slept off and on yesterday and y'all did laundry you know what I'm saying I did a few things around the house but this weekend I really needed to sleep because I rest but rarely do I sleep so I made it my business this weekend to sleep and I feel so rejuvenated and it's crazy because I really didn't realize how much my body really really needed to sleep you know and I didn't even you know like I didn't even take anything to make me go to sleep I just slept that lets me know also that my body really needed it so on the lids we're going to first of all put down now let me go in the crease first so I'm gonna go in the crease with G 
gingerbread latte, which is this color here that my pointer finger is on. So let's see what this does in the crease. Is it powdery? Let's see. Y'all know you have to. I see that. Yeah, but. Oh. Yeah, that's the crease color that I like to see. One thing I do like about Too Faced, y'all, is that they always put. They, yeah, they do. The ones that I have, the palettes that I have, they actually put a crease color that is really nice for women of color and to be honest um these palettes I really think are definitely for women of color did y'all see the um Urban Decay Cherry palette I kind of want to get that palette however I the colors I really don't wear a lot but I really, I don't know. I kind of want it for maybe like six of the colors. So you get a palette, buy a palette for six of the colors. Uh, sometimes. But I do see myself using at least six of those colors. But I'm thinking too, if I could find maybe a cheaper palette somewhere. It's just so gorgeous. Y'all know how like sometimes they kill you with the packaging because the palettes be so pretty that you just really, really want them just because of the palette. You know, like the, you know what I'm saying? That is so adorable, right? So you got to buy it for the packaging, you know, but the colors are really nice as well. Um, let me tell y'all something. I, the world today is so full of like beefs and people just constantly going back and forth with each other. And I watched an interview, interview today of this girl talking about Cardi B. And I realized during that interview that, you know, we all have a past. Nobody's perfect. A lot, a lot of us have past. And it's a shame that sometimes people, they like to bring your past up and throw it in your face. And I really thought about that when I was watching that girl do the interview about Cardi B and it kind of I don't know it kind of touched me a little bit and I know Cardi got a loud mouth I know she's you know really loud I'm not a Cardi fan I'm not any of these hip-hop of today female fans but um I'm gonna use the bake it till you make it which is that middle shade I showed you this one here um Does this have any kick up? Not that much. And it really kind of, it let, I, I really, for a moment, first of all, that girl is probably like, I know she's probably like 10, at least 10, 13 years older than Cardi. So I kind of want, you know, part of me was like, why, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the point in dragging her past? up but that's how people do you know what i'm saying man won't let you live down your past and i think that's sad that you know cardi everybody has something probably in their past they're not they're not proud of and sometimes you could be ashamed of it but for somebody to throw it up in your face and to dig out old skeletons why what is the point it's no purpose you know what i'm saying let people pass just stay in the past but a lot of times people can't do that and whether she's lying or not I don't think she's lying but who cares like really what's the point point? and you know that's just sometimes people won't let you you know live your past now and it's sad oh y'all like that color let me see it's my light too bright I really really like that color it is nice. Nice. So, girl, yes, I'm going to get my mani and pedi today. We didn't have church today. So, it's like a free Sunday. Then I didn't have to work today, thank God. 
I'm hot, y'all. Yeah. So let's try the warm and toasty. Don't let me have any kick up. Ooh. But y'all know what though? This palette, it is similar to some of the colors in the other palette. And I know because I be rocking out them colors in the other palette. Ooh, I like that. Y'all like that? Of course, I got to blend it, but I like that color, though. It's cute. Ooh. It's intense. It can be intense, and depending on what base you put up under it. But y'all know I'm not the intense kind of female. Not when it comes to makeup. I'm going to tell, a, you know, I tone it down for the most part. Ooh. And I'm about to burn the freak up. Oh, girl. So, what y'all have planned for today? And then I, I don't really have anything planned just to do that. I got to come back and cook. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep. Not much because... I got so y'all get up in the mornings. I don't know if I told y'all this and like do a lot of cooking my food in the mornings. Now, um, occasionally, you know, I'll go and do a lot of meats or something, but really, I don't have to be to work till 11, child. So I have plenty of time, honey, to get up and do some cooking in the mornings. And then that way, I have really fresh food, which I love. So, there's nothing wrong with meal prepping, but if you have, especially if you don't have time in the mornings, but I have a lot of time. So, okay. Let's see, is that blended enough? I think. I think so. Oh, this, what is this? Reindeer? Reindeer paws? This one here. Let's see. It's got a little kick up. That's a matte color. I have hooded lids, y'all, and I hate. I've always hated hooded lids, but those are cars I was dealt, so I just gotta deal with it and work with it. You feel me? Not too bad. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a little kick up. So, yeah, if I wasn't like, um, I was, I was thinking about going to my son's house, but girl, he stays so far away, and I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go, cause I have got some stuff to do. I need to go take my girlfriend some makeup I was gonna give her. That I have not gotten around to doing. Ooh, I'm about to burn up. Okay. Do y'all ever feel like your eyes are not even? Like, it's weird. I can't really explain it, but it seems like I don't, I don't know. Something's off. Something's a little different. Think, what you think? Of course, I'm gonna have to clean up under my eyes, but I want to blend this in some. Let's take y'all know what I do. So I take my derma blend and go up by the brow area to kind of tie everything together. Y'all know as you age and you see, you know, a little aging coming on. 
sometimes I don't know I think it's like such a blessing that we really just have to be grateful you know what I'm saying that first of all God allowed us to get to this age you know to whatever age you are and you'll see right in there up under there yeah I gotta go clean that up because if not I'm gonna look like I have this girl or something going on that area and I hate that so Y'all see there? That's why I have to sometimes, depending on what color I'm using, really clean up the under eye area. Okay. Woo! So yeah, it was some fallout in my under eye area. So I'm gonna go back in though. Right here. I do want to do foundation. I really don't want to do foundation, so Let's see, what am I going to do? Which one? This is the CC Cream and this is the Full Coverage Foundation. Moisturizer. No, Full Coverage Moisturizer. Which one do I want to do? I don't know. First of all, let's use this. I'm still using this. And this just helps. Cause sometimes these moisturizers, y'all, they have me oily as crap, girl. So, let's just see. The CC cream, rich. Let's do a little bit of this. And uh, if y'all don't know, like this will go on light, but it actually dries darker. I'll show it, you'll see it as it begins to sit on my face, it actually dries darker. So I, you know what? Last summer, I wore a CC. I was wore the um, It Cosmetics CC cream just about all summer, and I like it because it felt really, really lightweight on my face, and it felt like I had really nothing on my face. Um, I like It Cosmetic products. Sometimes I feel like they need to. They definitely need to work on their shade range for women of color so um but yeah i do like the products because i really feel like they are really good for anti-aging like they're anti-aging products and i think they're really good for women of age women of yeah like you know when you get to a certain age you start to age the aging process because i will tell you that the summer that I wore the um, CC cream, basically all summer, my skin looked so, so nice at the end of the summer. It really, truly did. And um, the only problem, like I said, is that I wish that they would work on that shade range because they have like really, the shade range is really not good. So even if you like do the CC cream and then maybe you take your powder, you know, to go over it to kind of, you know, get the tone a little bit better for you. But y'all see that this will actually oxidize and dry down to be, you know, better than it looks now. Cause I know I look like a ghost. Trust me, work with me, trust me on this, right? Trust me. I know it looked ghostly. <laughs> but it does get better, like seriously. It really will. Cause I know the first time I put it on, I was like, yo, what the freak? And um I was pissed. I was like, yo, I'm taking this mess back. That girl much I was like, she got me messed up. Why would she give me something? I was so pissed. Why would she give me something like this? And this is the rich. I tried the deep that 
they had a new color that they came out with last year. I think it was deep, and the deep was just, just definitely didn't work for me. I felt like the deep was, I don't know, the tone was definitely off. Trust me on this one. Trust me, y'all. I know it's looking ghostly. But to be honest, like seriously, y'all, like at the end of the summer last year, this foundation, my skin looked really, really, really nice after wearing that basically all summer. And the deal is, I just was, I don't know, I just really wasn't feeling like heavy foundation. And sometimes living in the South, it gets really, really, really hot here. And sometimes you just don't want anything on your face. And like I said, this is very, very lightweight. And you really feel like you don't have anything on now we're just gonna wait for a little bit and let it kind of really do its thing trust me trust me Trust me, y'all trust me, right? You trust me, right? Trust me. Okay, y'all, it has had time to kind of tone down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Derma Blend to just kind of set it a little bit. And trust me, I wouldn't wear this stuff if it did not come on through. But I like it though, because it really does, it does get darker and it does tone down. So, just gonna put my powder on like I normally would, just to kind of help set it a little bit. I'm not gonna do any concealing or anything like that, y'all, because it really ain't that serious. I'm gonna get my feet done, run to the store, and that's it. But, you know what? I guess I could give you swatches of it, right? Don't be afraid, though, to try to eat cosmetics. Like, seriously, don't be afraid. Because it really will, like, oxidize and look like your skin. Seriously, it will. Now, for the blusher today, which is going to be not much, just a little bit, um, I'm going to be doing, let me see, which one is this? I can get it out the thing. This is MAC Raisin. So, I gotta be careful. This white shirt on my My daughter bought me this shirt back from Jamaica. <laughs> yes! Kudos to her for thinking about her mommy. My kids, they always bring me stuff back when they travel. Isn't that sweet? So, yeah, we're just gonna do a little bit raisin. I'm going to give y'all some swatches of gingerbread. Yes, girl. Come on through, honey. Oh, y'all see how that foundation toned down? And it's all good. You see that? You see that? Yes, girl. I just sometimes y'all throw my blush on wildly. Do y'all do that? Then I have to go back and fix it because I just threw it on in the gallery. <sighs> oh, that was that new Urban Decay brush that I got, y'all. Y'all know when I tell y'all that I really like Urban Decay brushes. Did I tell y'all that? I don't know if I did or not. But I really, really like Urban Decay brushes too because they have some nice brushes. They really do. I only buy them when they're on sale, when they're on clearance, honey. That's the only time I buy them, but they're really nice. Okay, honey. I think we're done, Ladybug. I think we're done, right? So now, the grand finale, we just need to use the Prime Water by Smashbox. I have some bigger ones that I always pour into the smaller one. Let me find this spray. I 
don't look like a ghost after all. You know what I'm saying? I know it looked kind of ghostly in the beginning, but I got it under control now. So, let me see. Where am I going to swatch? Let's see here. Okay, maybe I'll do it this way. So, with gingerbread. This is gingerbread. I'm going to swatch the first. I'm going to swatch this row and then this row. Okay? So, and I'm Powdered sugar, frostbite me. It's the second one. The third one is called sugar daddy. This one is called spice eggnog. And we're about to do licky at my cookie. That's licky at my cookie. The next one is called piggy figgy pudding. And that's figgy pudding. Okay, so powdered sugar first, frostbite me, the third one is sugar daddy, the fourth one is spice eggnog, this one is looky at my cookie, and this one is figgy pudding. So that's the first six, and this is a very informal swatch, y'all, just for y'all. For my subbies, because you know, we don't have to be all formal and everything. We just, you know, we just do what we do on this channel. The next one is going to be Gum Drop. Oh, it is a pretty pink Gum Drop. Ooh. This one is Spice. It's nice. Right there. This one is Hot Toddy. Ooh. Y'all, look at those, are intense, right? gingerbread oh and let's do old snap which is right there and then we're gonna do reindeer paws which is right there y'all this is no primer just you know okay so this is gumdrop spice is nice hot toddy Gingerbread, Old Snap, and Reindeer Paws. Okay? We're going to do the last nine, which is, the last six, which is, this is going to be Warm and Toasty, which I use that on the inner corner of my eyes there. So, that's Warm and Toasty. This one is Bake It Till You Make It. Right there. Gingerbread Latte. Which is, ew, let me do another swatch of that one. Which is matte gingerbread latte. Uh, ooh, burn or oh, burn. Woo, yes, that one is intense. Spice of life, which is this one. <gasps> yes, girl, come on through. And. Here we have spiced rum. Do that one again. Okay, so the last six we have warm and toasty, bake it till you make it, gingerbread latte, which is a matte. Then we have O burn or O burn or O burn, like O burn. Then we have spice of life. And last but not least, we have spiced rum. That spiced rum is really, really pretty. So yeah, there you go. The swatches of gingerbread, the Too Faced gingerbread and spice. Just for y'all, just for y'all. Okay, y'all, so now it's time for the hair takedown. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I wanna kinda ride out and then again, y'all, I really wanna come back home. I need to cook though. I really do need to do that. Oh, and get ready for this week girl oh my goodness like uh, last week went by really fast for me though it really did and I hope this week goes by faster we have a lot of people from corporate coming in this week and uh, y'all know how that could be a pain 
we have a new VP to the area coming in and uh, just like a lot of different people there we're getting a new operating system um, you know like a new system that we book our calls and stuff like that and that's coming in so we have to contend with that traffic and all that good old stuff but um that's about it but I'll come back y'all when I get finished with the tape down in my hair and I'll see y'all back shortly